So through this, what is this? What size is this? Half? So this no, it's a, a quarter. 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 Uh, 316 stainless. Oh, 316 stainless. So what would you? Which, which one are we going with? The going the with carbide one. Here, yep. I'm gonna put these in my pockets. Yeah. Go go ahead. Right now. We have multiple systems, all interchangeable with this Arbor, the 716's Arbor. It's Snap Lock Plus. Look at that. Let me ask you this question. The uh, the Pilot Point, any any reason to use different styles for any? any? So in metal cutting, you want to use a cobalt bit, right? Yes. That's going to give you the best life in this application. And this specific pilot bit here has this spring ejection. So as soon as you're going through, okay. you're ejecting the plug through the material. It's not going to get caught up in your hole saw. What if we were going to use a different, like a different style of hole saw, so even can, though they're interchangeable? Like, will we change our pilot point or? You can change your pilot bit. So if you're drilling in wood, you're just going to use the standard HSS pilot bit. Gotcha. If you're going through a diamond grit, you'd be drilling in at a 45, but we also have pilot bits for those as well. Okay. So it's as simple as pop it in, done. Yo, so I was looking for it inside the, 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 the bit. The, uh, the spring already ejected it out. Usually you'd be prying it out. That's pretty cool. So look how clean that is though, yeah. right? So typically, the, you know, in your, your standard bimetal or carbide tip, you're not gonna get that super clean edge. Now, if you had a connector, this is an electrical box. Ah. You wanna go back to that connector, a nice clean cut. You don't have burrs if you're pulling wire through it or anything like that. So no burrs, I gotcha. No reason for a unibet. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That One is man drill, sweet. You can switch to bimetal, to carbide, to diamond grit, to carbide tipped hole cutter. That's awesome. All diameters, one diameter. One pine, or one uh, mandrel. One, one. Full range, five eighths all the way to six and three quarter inch for uh, recessed lighting. You can that drive sweet. All you gotta with do. one mandrel. What else? Uh, we, got, we got a large diameter blade, but. Oh, let's see it. Uh oh. I know, right? It's getting the apron out. That's serious, right? You no, know, so the great thing about all those metal blades is they, they work on a standard circular saw, right? Okay. So you can convert your, you know, five and a half, five and three eighths, your six and a half, your seven and a quarter. You can take it from a regular wood cutting with a, with a metal cutting or the Seal Demon Diablo blade. It becomes a metal cutting saw. Okay. A very high performing metal cutting saw. Yeah. On the larger diameters, you do need to step into a, a lower RPM saw. Chop saw. Design. There you go. You know, where the bondages are typically spending about 3,900, these are about 1,800. Okay, 18, so, so yeah. this, this this blade that we're, we're gonna see, this is made specifically for a, a style of chop saw that's made to use carbide, carbide blade. Yes, but in this case, it's sermon. But yes is the answer. Yes. This, you know, the bonded, the bonded saws are dedicated for bonded, right. high RPM, grinding through the material, the low RPM metal cutting, specifically designed for Carbide or Cermet toothpick. I, I just want to let let them know where we can't put this blade on that saw. That's correct. Okay. All right. Right. I just want to make and, sure. And then if it was a 12 inch version, you wouldn't want to take that and put it on your 12 inch compound miter saw. Right. No. Different RPM. All right. So what we're going to see here, this is a technology today on the job site, cutting with bonded. It's going to grind its way through a lot of sparks, a lot of time, and holy cow, you're going to see the heat. Yep. <laughs> I mean, awful, right? Yeah. See how hot that is. You're not gonna want to touch that for a while. No. You need a tattoo? I, I, I have touched it. Like Vegas a, tattoo right there. The I heat. have like a okay. goofball gra grabbed it yeah. at times. All right. All right, so here's what I want you to do. We'll touch that to the skin. Grab it with your fingers, yep. Nothing, right? It's no. hot as, as hot as a... You like it? All right, so the Diablo solution again, Surmet. Just nice and easy feed rate. Minimal sparking. Very minimal sparking. It warmed up a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But but it's not leaving it's not leaving any burn marks. Right. You know, so the standard same piece we just cut, nice and smooth. Absolutely. Seconds. 
No rework. No. Cool to the touch. I like it. It makes me happy. How about you? you good? Yeah, it makes me happy. I didn't burn myself. I appreciate that, Steve. Yeah, safety factor is big there. Safety Absolutely. factor, but the quality of cut, productivity, Even everything. Even the, 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 a lot less sparks. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just. Yeah. If you're on a, com a lot of commercial job sites, you got to get a hot permit. You got to have somebody sitting there watching you so you're not going to catch the whole building on oh, fire. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It saves time. You want to drill some rebar? Yeah, we want to play with the rebar demon. All right, let's do it. So I heard there's a rumor that it, this, there, there's like a new, the biggest rebar demon ever ever made. Is that right? That is correct. Where, where is it at? What is it? It's correct. Is it? So right now we have the largest, the widest range, SDS Plus, SDS Max with a full carbide head, right? Full piece of carbide on the tip of that drill bit. Four cutters, full carbide head. What does that mean? It'll drill all day long and it's clean concrete. Hey, that's great, right? The longest life, more productivity. But what happens when you hit rebar with the standard bit? Sure. Yeah, it's gonna blow it out. You're gonna do two things. You're gonna go get a rebar cutter, which if you're up on a lift or up in the building, you gotta go back to the truck, back to the shed. You gotta find that rebar cutter, cut through the rebar, go back, put your bit in, sand your carbide bit, and then drill through, keep your drilling. With the rebar demon, it's one bit can continue this holes to reinforce concrete with rebar, right? So what we got here, 5,000 PSI concrete with two pieces of number four rebar, just so we can hit it, sure. right? Um, we're gonna drill with a three eighths just because I can't drive. But again, five thirty seconds to enter the quarter. So, so the head, the head though, on, on the smaller rebar demon is the same as the large rebar That's demon. Correct. It's a single cutting head. This isn't like little pieces of. It's not like little pieces of carbide welded onto this bit. It's just one. It's like almost like a capstone of cutting. I think I just coined the term. Again, five thirty seconds all the way to enter the quarter. STS plus. SDS Max 3 8 all the way to inch and a quarter. Once we get to the larger sizes, like you can see behind me, you do go to some insert bits up to two inch, but don't do worry, we're, we're still working on things. So again, we talked about a two cutter head, limited, you got a hit rebar. Even some of our competitors here do have full carbide head, right? They do. Once it, once it heats and cools, a lot of times you might lose that carbide head. You see that? See what happened there? Rebar Demon 3 8 5,000 PSI, number four rebar. Okay. You want to take it for a spin? Yeah, heck yeah. Let's do it. Um, right. Oh, you want, you're going to do it? No, 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 I want you to do it. Oh, nice. So let's put it over here nice clean. I'll let you get it. You want to stand up here, it'll be a lot easier. Wow, I think he just made a short joke. No. Come I on, Steve. I stood up here, come on. Come on, Steve, he made a short joke. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yo, look at that. Very difficult, uh, very difficult application. But again, long life, clean concrete, reinforced concrete. Yo, right concrete. between the center of two number fours. Let me ask you a question. Am I able to drill all the way through so I can show them straight through on the camera? Uh, let me see if we busted one out. Hold on, hold on. We'll just show you the holes in the rebar. Yeah, that's the best one right there. See that guy? I'm amazed, and if you're amazed, it's smash the like button. It's free for you to do, it doesn't cost you a dime. And you'll get seven years of good luck. There's no good reason not to. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy, and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What, you're not subscribed yet? Well smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.